Gout is very common here in Hawaii. You probably know one, someone that's affected by it, maybe even yourself. Dr. Devi Setyono is a rheumatologist at Straub Benioff Medical Center, and she joins us now. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. What, what maybe we should clarify? What exactly is gout for those who don't know? So gout is a type of um, inflammatory arthritis that is very common, uh, but especially in Hawaii. So it's a type of arthritis that is uh, caused by high burden of uric acid, which is a breakdown of purin, and it forms crystals. It goes into your joints, uh, in and around the joints, that's causing significant joint pain and inflammation. So what causes these flare-ups? There are several factors, but one of the biggest one is actually food that contains a high uh, level of purin. So you can typically see it in um, seafood. Um, the most common ones are uh, shellfish, uh, your mussels, clams, um, certain types of fish as well, such as herring, mackerel, tuna. Tuna actually contains moderate amount oh. of purin. All types of alcohol. Now, people always get uh, that, that thinks that beer is the most common one, but it's actually all type of alcohol, including a red wine. You can also find high purin content in high fructose corn syrup, energy drinks, um, sugary drinks uh, like soda, and, and full-fat dairy products as well. Yeah. And let's not forget about uh, red meat, um, your beef, uh, pork, turkey. Yeah, I, yeah, I've seen people that are, it's so painful that they, they can't even walk the next day. What, why, why so painful? So, um, as I mentioned it before, um, when you do have gout, you typically have perhaps um, high burden of uric acid that has been in your system for quite some time. It further crystallizes, it forms like needle-shaped crystals. Mm. And what happened is that it gets deposited in your joints that causes local swellings, redness, and significant joint pain. Right. How, how do I know if I have gout? Oh, it's really hard to miss it. It's a very angry looking joint. Um, you know, it looks very beefy, red, um, accompanied with significant soft tissue swellings. A lot of people told me that it feels as if they are walking on the shards of glass or they feel as if their toes are broken. Okay, so help us out. How do we prevent this or, or even just lessen the attacks? Yeah, so um, there are several ways how to prevent it. Um, if you've been having recurrent gout attack, uh, there are certain medications that can help it, but your biggest things that you can do is to avoid high purine content uh, diet. And food and drinks that I mentioned before, um, you know, you want to consume it in moderation or maybe less, um, as well as maintaining healthy weight, as well as uh, consuming uh, water. So water is your best friend. Uh, you, it's really highly encouraged to uh, hydrate yourself mm -hmm. sufficiently. Yeah, something very much to keep in mind because we have the holidays coming up. We're all gonna have right. big get togethers and, and parties right. and so forth. And, and I also want to add that unfortunately, local favorites such as Spam and, oh, and Loco Moco, they do contain <laughs> high period content as well. Right. So in moderation. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Dr. Yeah. Setion, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for helping to make this a healthier Hawaii.